There you are, all of our best friends back from War Explore Tulsa. Here, Trish, hold your hand up like that for just a second. What are you doing, CB? Well, I, our next guest, Mark Lewis, is an artist that tears various pieces of different paper together, and he makes these amazing works of art just right in the street. Ah, uh, you do know that it takes Mark like months to make each of his works of art, don't you? Yeah, but you don't have anything else to do for a while, right? You should definitely follow your passion. And I'm not sure you have any other choice, really. I had the support of a high school teacher, and that was really nice. She uh, saw that there was something I would think unique about my work and allowed me to set up independently and work in the classroom, just drawing, really. Doing, working on some big drawings. It's interesting because they're not sort of totally unrelated to what I'm doing now, but they're elaborate pen and ink drawings, or these are sort of elaborate collages, you know. Uh, they were elaborate pen and ink drawings, and I probably had about the same uh, sort of working routine. I'd work on something for a period of months, you know, three to four, three, four, five, or six months, that sort of thing. You know, when I started going to college, I was thinking about architecture or illustration, that sort of thing, but once I uh, started working in the painting studio at Oklahoma State University, I uh, felt pretty confident I wanted to stay, stay with the fine, art, fine arts route. Well, I started this, this one at the beginning of the summer, so uh, probably in June, and I've been working on it all summer. I thought I'd be finished by now, actually, but uh, I'll probably work on it some more today and a couple more days, and then I'll sort of put, I'll put it away for the winter and see if it holds up. And if not, I'll just come back early in the summer and keep working on it. But I think it's getting close. I, I like the urban landscape. And um, I, I really enjoy going to places that are part of my daily routine. Um, I, I, uh, I saw this place a couple of years ago and thought, well, maybe there's a possibility of setting up and working here. I'm, I'm at the corner of Admiral and Lewis, uh, near the Circle Cinema. And uh, my studio's not far from here, so I sort of know the neighborhood a bit. And once I saw the view, I knew that I wanted to spend some time working on it. And I like just to pick ordinary places, you know, things that you discover and you see in your daily routine, and things I like to explore. I, like, I wouldn't probably choose, like, sort of postcard kinds of images, you know. Um, I'm really interested in daily, daily life and observing daily life, I think. And it's important for me to be there rather than be separated from this view in my studio. Uh, I like becoming sort of a part of the neighborhood while I'm working on it and watching people come and go uh, in their daily routines. So uh, I think that's all about part of it. But I had a lot of wonderful teachers. so. It seemed to me that teaching is an important part of being an artist, and um, I've been doing. I've been at the University of Tulsa for about 17 years. I've, I've got a lot of wonderful students, and it's fun to see them come along and watch their work develop, and then to see them go on after college and uh, continue to succeed in the art world. Yeah, it's really nice. I have some work on display at First Oklahoma Bank out in Jinx in the lobby. You can see some pieces there. And there's a few pieces um, in sort of the lobby area at the Zero Art Center in the Brady District, too. Uh, I've got a couple little shows coming up. I think it's the Mainline Gallery uh, uh, down in the Brady, and then I'm going to have a piece in a show at the PAC, uh, 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 an exhibit called Grayscale. It'll be opening up in a few weeks. You find a way to make it work. It's not practical at all. And it would be simpler to just work in the studio, but uh, I really have to be out here. I mean, I, I have to become a part of it. I have to observe it. I think that's a much richer experience for me than working from another source.